Hey everyone, as requested, we are doing the pork carnitas tacos. Tony said they looked good. They do. I think they look good too. Um, this is with pickled onion and then Monterey Jack cheese. Now it says on the back, first I love that they give you a tip. Um, when I did the presto pesto chicken last night, it said to use a, um, a brush to put the pesto onto the chicken breast. This tip says if you have leftover pickled onions to save them that basically you could use them you know in salads or whatever. Mm -hmm. I like that this teaches you different methods like this is going to teach you pickling onions. Um, it says you're going to need to break out a medium bowl. You're going to need a large pan, slotted spoon, I forgot I'm going to need a small bowl. Can you grab a small bowl out of the, over there? Paper towels, sugar, and olive oil. That's not really a small bowl. <laughs> yeah, we don't really have small bowl. Oh wait, forgot about these. And you're going to need salt, pepper. Alright, now, what comes with the kit is you get some ground pork and then all your stuff comes in these bags and then here we have tortillas get six of them so there's flour tortillas that's cilantro Monterey Jack cheese Tomato, which this is a pretty light tomato, I am gonna say. <laughs> You've got some fajita sauce blend. Mm -hmm. You've got a lime. Is there a coconut in there? Okay, no, there's no coconut. You got an onion, uh, tomato paste. I think that's pretty sure this is a poblano pepper. Hmm. I'm almost positive. Yeah, that's a poblano pepper. You have a little thing of rice wine vinegar, which I thought was tequila at first. <laughs> and then we have sour cream. And we have a disused chicken. I don't know what this is. Let's see if it says on the, on the thing. Chicken stock concentrate. Okay, that's what mm. that is. So, the first step, which was also the first step yesterday, is to wash and cut your vegetables. I'll tell you how that needs to be done, and then I'll do that off camera. Okay, you're going to wash and dry all the produce, half and peel the onion. Finally chop one half of the onion. The other half you're going to slice very thin from pole to pole. And what that means is like pole to pole. So you like slice it half like that? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I mean, you're going you're gonna to slice it in half. Mm -hmm. Then pretend you've just got half an onion. Okay. You're going to slice it um. like that. And then, let's see. Core, seed, and finally chop the poblano. Roughly chop cilantro. Core and dice the tomato. Half the lime. Or have the lime. <laughs> Cut one half into wedges for serving. So that's what we're going to do right now. And we'll do that off camera so we don't bore you. Alright, we are going to pickle these onions. Place those in there. We are going to add the vinegar. Let me set that over there. And we're going to add two teaspoons of sugar, which is a quarter teaspoon. I 
that's really all there is to pickle an onion. So that's really simple. Also says we're gonna add a half teaspoon of salt. Sorry, I didn't have my salt out. So what does the salt do? I'm not sure. And then a tablespoon of water. And it says to toss until sugar and salt are mostly dissolved. Set aside to marinate, tossing occasionally. Oh, sorry, y'all. Gideon thought that was a dinner bell. Here he come running. <laughs> and look how those onions are like turning the vinegar sugar and all that and us pinkish color, purplish color. Alright, I'm gonna set those aside to do their thing. Okay, next we're gonna heat a large skillet, which I don't even really think their recipe um cards are um yeah because it even says ingredients for two person, four person we got the two person, so I'm using a medium skillet because it didn't look like I'm not going to need a large for this amount of meat. No. Okay, we're going to let that heat just a little bit and then we're going to add our pork, breaking up meat into pieces, seasoning with salt and pepper, cook until brown to four to five minutes. And then we're going to transfer it to a plate using a slotted spoon. And it says to pour out and discard any excess grease. So. I do like that they have a handy little... With handy. <laughs> it's so handy. <laughs> Look at how handy that is. How could we have made it without that? I do have to say I did HelloFresh and Injustice when I said, you know, hey, that doesn't look like it's going to be a much, enough food on the potatoes. It definitely was. Yep, the convenience is I can just off. completely open now. <laughs> Probably won't need this knife again, so. Ever? That don't make you want to have a taco. <laughs> no, probably not, but... How about that end? This end? Where did it say season with salt and pepper? So, so far I've been impressed with HelloFresh. 
Um, I will be honest in one thing. I do like to say, you know, have recyclable bags. And, but there's no denying the fact that you're getting a lot of packaging that you have to throw away. So, that's a bit of a downer, but... I love... It's been on the opposite side. You can't beat the convenience of everything being measured out. And, mm -hmm. ground pork. Yeah, interesting idea. I mean, I'll just, I've never cooked with it, period. It's not a, you know, think of ground pork, I think of sausage. Yeah. I haven't put it in meat rolls or anything like that. So we're just going to keep cooking this meat and we'll be back. Now it's said to pour out all of the olive oil and the grease after you've cooked your pork, but Okay, I'm a southern girl. We know meat is where the flavor is. I poured out half of it, but I kept what would be considered another drizzle of olive oil. So this is olive oil and pork fat. So, but you know, you do it the way you want to do it. There's no rules here. There's not. Okay, we're gonna put our onion in there. And our poblano pepper. And if a couple tomatoes get in there, that's okay too. So I tried the cilantro and realized I shouldn't have by itself. <laughs> well, cilantro is not for everybody, but I know he likes cilantro because he likes real Mexican food that we get um, in Silva at a place called, um, I can't remember what that place next to Walmart's called. Okay, so we're just gonna cook these. So like render them down? Some. Soften them. Soften them? Yeah. You render like meat. Salt and pepper. That looks fantastic. It really is smelling good, honestly. The uh, pork smells good. This is good. And I'm honestly even liking the smell coming from over here. Yeah, why well, am I been making pickled onions quite a bit? Maybe. I think they'd be good on a burger. So it says you just want to cook these for three or four minutes. Now, I'm loving that we're just learning these recipes. You don't have to, well, as far as I know, you don't, you can't just order something from HelloFresh. You pick your meals each week based on what's available. But, you know, you're learning recipes, you're learning these new techniques. I love the idea of basically making these tacos from scratch. Turn the off because I was draining the um, getting the meat out of the pan, and I'm just turning it back on. So here I am, just stirring. And well, it still had residual heat. Yeah, these pans hold heat well. are ready we're gonna add the meat back in 
We're gonna have the fajita spas. One tablespoon of tomato spice. Oops. <laughs> tomato paste. <laughs> oh, the stock concentrate and two tablespoons of water. Now it does say that they sent more than a tablespoon. Which is this two tablespoons, so I would just half of that. Smells so good. Peppers and onions. Maybe I'm gonna do peppers and onions for like sausages or beef chips or something. I think I'm gonna use some poblano instead of bell peppers. Alright, I think I'm gonna go ahead and add the um, meat back in because. We don't like our stuff over, we like a little bit of crunch left. There's our meat back in there. Get stirred up. I just realized I left my cheese and sour cream out on the counter. <laughs> Chicken base is the last thing. Or not chicken base, but chicken stock concentrate. Oh yeah, two tablespoons of water. Is that what I said, two tablespoons? Yeah. Is we cook this for two to three minutes until everything becomes saucy and comes together. And remember to keep stirring your um, onions. I should actually put a little bit more water in there. Yeah, it probably wouldn't hurt anything. Well, it could be I like the flavor. This looks so good, though. I've never had pork tacos, but... We're going to wrap the tortillas in a wet paper towel and heat in the microwave for 30 seconds. But this is looking done. The only other thing we need to do is make the crema.
So I'm going to take this meat off the heat. And we need the sour cream, lime, and salt and pepper. It says to stir it in a splash or two of water to give it the crema consistency for drizzling if you want. I'm going to wrap these in paper towel and get them warm. Alright, I'm going to build a taco and try it out for y'all. I forgot my cheese is in the, cheese is in the fridge. Hold on just a second. Alright, got some meat on there. Be on camera, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Oh, yeah, they're <laughs> good. Mm -hmm. These are really good, y'all. Now see, I eat things like that a little differently than most people probably. I will have my meat, the other ingredients over to the side. I eat it with a spoon. I eat my tortillas rolled up. So, you know, that's just me. Don't you try the other end of this? Okay. Um, anyway, I highly recommend this meal. 
if you're signing up and you see this one grab it it's so good yeah it's 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 really really good love the cilantro on there it has just a nice flavor so if you want to check out hello fresh my code link will be down below you'll get i think it's forty dollars off i'll get twenty dollars so go check it out be sure to like comment share subscribe hit that bell so you never miss a video and we'll see you next time bye